Okay, so this video will walk you through creating an assignment in Blackboard. This basically is a Dropbox that allows students to submit a file or to um, use the text editor to type a little bit of text. Um, my best recommendation is to have students submit files, that way they type their work outside of Blackboard and have a backup. Um, so we'll just walk through each piece of the assignment process. Um, and, and you can be creative with assignments. Um, they don't necessarily have, the assignment tool, let me be more specific, doesn't have to be used for graded work. If you just want to collect things, um, I'll show you that you can set the point value to zero. Um, so let's just back up a step. Um, we have a content area that we've previously created. Um, so you could use a content area or if you had a weekly folder, you could insert your assignment there. Uh, we've primarily been using the build content button so let's scoot over to the assessments tab or button and let's choose assignment the first thing like almost everything in blackboard is uh, to give it a title so whatever you need to call it the instruction space is just a text editor you could um, type all of your instructions here if you wanted to or uh, give brief instructions and attach a file. Um, that way you uh, can type your instructions and what you're comfortable with, so whether that's Microsoft Word or Google Docs or wherever. Um, if you aren't, I guess another alternative would be to provide a link to um, a video or a Google Doc that has the instructions. Either way, I like to provide students a little bit of context in this text space. Um, I do use the attachments to attach my assignment sheets. It just works a little better for me. And I attach those as a PDF um, because I want them to display in Blackboard. Now, if I was going to, uh, if this assignment required a template, I could attach a Word file here. Students would be able to download it and then they can use that to resubmit. Or they'll edit it, save it, and then resubmit. Um, so that's a lot there. Let's scoot, uh, scoot down just a little bit further. Uh, I do recommend using the due date. Uh, this is critical for me because not only does it show up on the calendar tied specifically to this course, it shows up on the student's Blackboard calendar globally. Um, so if I'm a student and I look at my Monday morning, uh, look at the calendar on Monday morning, I would see all of my assignments due there on that day. Um, you don't have to click the box, you just click the uh, calendar icon. You can use these single arrows to navigate the months. Um, you choose your date by clicking on it. It's going to default to what Blackboard considers the end of the day, 11.59 p.m. Uh, you can change that here. If they don't have a specific time you want, you can still uh, click and edit. Your points possible, just like you would in a face-to-face -face class. You give it the number of points. If you want to use this as a draft assignment or a non-graded assignment, you can always enter a zero. Uh, whenever you uh, create an assignment and assign points, it will automatically, whether that's zero or a hundred or a thousand, Blackboard's going to automatically create a column in the Grade Center associated with this assignment. Um, I'll talk more about rubrics in another video, but this is where you'd be able to select and add a rubric or create one. Um, the first box down is Submission Details. There's just a few things I want to cover here. Um, I don't do a lot of group submissions. It's problematic for me. Um, I like every student to be responsible to submit their their own uh, product of that group work. Um, that way I can assign grades a little easier for me. Um, if, you, if they're only allowed a single attempt, that's fine. Personally, I like to select unlimited attempts um, because if a student has a problem or they upload the wrong file, if you haven't given them unlimited attempts or several attempts, you're going to have to go in and clear that first submission so they can resubmit. Um, with that in mind, since I'm giving them unlimited attempts, I also want to make sure that Blackboard looks for the highest grade. Um, you can, I guess the unlimited attempts could also be used if you're going to accept uh, multiple drafts or um, but only assign one grade. If you're going to accept multiple drafts of something and assign separate grades for each draft, you'd want to create an assignment for each each one. Um, so back to here, uh, the number of attempts I like to use unlimited because that takes the the labor of, of clearing um, mistakes off my plate. Uh, I want Blackboard to look for the highest grade. 
Um, one of the plagiarism tools built into Blackboard is SafeAssign. If you want Blackboard to look at your student's work uh, for plagiarism, it has to be an attached file, so a Word file or a PDF. Um, they can you, First, you'll check this box to say, yes, I would like SafeAssign to look at it. If you'd like students to be able to see their results, you'll check this box. And this last box, um, you're only going to use this if you're going to accept multiple drafts. And so if you have a rough draft, you might check this box so that way it doesn't add that rough draft to the database. And, and that's important because if they submit their final draft, it's going to match that old paper. So we want to exclude drafts um, and, and then uh, not use this option when we get to a final draft of a, a paper or a piece of writing. Um, graded options. I don't use anonymous grading. Um, if you feel the need to, you can, and Blackboard will help hide those things from you. Um, I do like to look at display of grades. If you're more comfortable with uh, assigning letter grades, um, you can do that, or percentages. It defaults to score. Um, it also defaults to add it to the Grade Center calculations. And what that means is you have a built-in total column. And so when we create an assignment, we assign the points and we uh, create it, um, it's going to add this assignment to that total column calculation. Uh, we also want to make sure that this is checked uh, so that way students can see this assignment in my grades. This is important so they can see your feedback once you've graded or if you've uh, given them some grading criteria by way of a rubric, they'll be able to look at that rubric there uh, before submitting. Finally, um, there's a box to make the assignment available. Um, if you're ready, it's uh, defaulted to that. If you're not ready, you can uncheck it. Or if you want it to open after a certain day, you can use this uh, calendar option here. Finally, uh, I like to track the number of views here because it shows me um, how many times students had to revisit the assignment. Um, finally, you'll click Submit, and it will add that um, assignment to that content area or content folder wherever you started this process at. Um, they will, as a faculty member, we can click the title of the assignment. It's going to show us the due date, the points possible. If you selected Safe Assign, it gives them that notification. Um, Students can write a submission, which is just the text editor, or really what we want them to do is uh, attach files, and then they're required to agree to safe assign. So if you use it, um, I also have some syllabus uh, language that you can include, or uh, maybe not for your syllabus, but if you want to announce it to your course. Um, and finally, the comments area when they submit gives them the place to uh, kind of point out particular things where you may say, use the comment area to tell me what you're worried about, what you feel good about, or any particular questions you have with this submission. Um, let's back up a page. And so this is where we see our assignment in the content area. If for some reason you've got a typo, you need to adjust the due date, or um, update your instructions. All you have to do is use this menu icon and select edit. Um, or uh, towards the bottom you have change due date and you also have the option to move it. So if you've built that assignment in the wrong place, you can move it to the right spot.